The kingdom was a land of beauty and wonder, surrounded by rolling hills and lush forests. In the majestic palace, there lived a headstrong princess named Isabella and a valiant knight named Alexander. Princess Isabella was a spirited and rebellious young woman, who chafed at the traditional roles imposed upon her as royalty. She longed for freedom and adventure, but she felt trapped by the palace walls and the constant scrutiny of her overbearing advisors. She dreamed of escaping her dull and stifling life, and finding her true happiness. Sir Alexander was the kingdom's most skilled and loyal knight, who had dedicated his life to serving and protecting his king and country. He was a brave and honorable man, who had faced many dangers and challenges in his career. He had little respect for the privileged lives of the monarchy, whom he considered spoiled and selfish. He valued duty and honor above all else. Their paths crossed during a grand royal celebration, held in honor of the king's birthday. The palace was decorated with banners and flowers, and filled with music and laughter. Nobles and dignitaries from all over the land gathered to pay their respects and enjoy the festivities. Isabella, bored by the formalities and her lack of freedom, slipped away from the ballroom and made her way to the palace gardens. There, she breathed in the fresh air and admired the beauty of nature. She felt a sense of peace and joy that she rarely experienced in her life. Alexander, weary of his duties and his fake smiles, also escaped to the palace gardens. There, he sought some quiet and solitude among the blooming flowers. He felt a sense of relief and relaxation that he seldom felt in his life. They met by chance, near a fountain where a pair of swans glided gracefully on the water. They recognized each other from their brief encounters at court, but they had never spoken before. Their initial conversation was tense and hostile, as each vented their frustrations about their respective roles in the kingdom. They argued over everything, from politics to etiquette. They found each other arrogant and ignorant, rude and annoying. They parted ways with mutual disdain, hoping to never see each other again. However, fate had other plans for them. They continued to meet in secret, drawn by a strange attraction that they could not explain. They found themselves looking forward to their meetings, curious about each other's lives. Their conversations changed from bitter debates to sincere discussions. Isabella learned about the hardships that came with being a knight, while Alexander learned about the pressures that came with being royalty. They realized that they had more in common than they thought. Their shared moments in the gardens became a refuge where they could be their true selves without judgment. They opened up to each other, revealing their hopes and dreams, their fears and doubts. They discovered new sides of each other that they had never seen before. The continuation of their story will soon unfold. Thanks for watching.